Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I'm a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. We're doing one of these every single day in the month of June. Just some little quick videos showing you how to do some really cool things in Photoshop. If you are looking for more in-depth tutorials, I would recommend you go to my Gumroad account. I will include a link in the description below. Uh, where you can find uh, even longer Photoshop tutorials with the PST files and the stock images included. But what we're going to be doing today is uh, kind of a fun little picture, and uh, we're going to be taking this picture of a uh, window on an airplane, and we're also going to take this picture of a giraffe. Uh, both of these images were taken off of unsplash.com, and so you are welcome to download those images and uh, practice on your own. But what we're going to do is we're going to combine both of these images, kind of do a funny little picture of a giraffe kind of looking inside of the window. This, this uh, concept has been done many times over, and so you've probably already seen an image like this before. Uh, so I wanted to show you how to create it. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and bring our giraffe in to the scene. And I'm just going to make the opacity lower so we can figure out where we want to put them. And I think somewhere about right in here would probably make the most sense. A giraffe head's pretty large, so it probably needs to be bigger than the window or at least about the size of the window. Something kind of like that. And I'll hit my check mark when I'm happy with that. And then what we want to do is we want to cut him out. So the quickest way to do that is the quick select tool. Let's go ahead and just start uh, selecting out this uh, sky behind him and these uh, trees. And quick select tool did a pretty good job. Let's just go ahead and zoom in and see how well it did. Not bad. There's a few little sections. It didn't do a good job. So I'm just going to get my lasso tool and just kind of fix those little mess ups there. Oops. Make sure we got the right thing. There we go. And on the neck as well, it looks like it didn't do a perfect job. And, you know, when you have a quick select tool, sometimes it doesn't do a perfect job. And that's when you got to go in and fix it. But I think for the most part, it did a pretty good job. All right. Once you're happy with that, go ahead and uh, delete the sky. So just hit your delete key like that. And now the sky is gone and uh, we have this left. Now we need to go ahead and mask out uh, the bottom part of this giraffe. So let's go ahead and go down here, get a nice little uh, hard brush and put a layer mask on it. And we're just gonna paint out this bottom part of the window. So just making sure that he stays outside and doesn't come inside the plane, just doing that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and clean up these edges that didn't get deleted with the sky. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. It looks pretty funny. Uh, if you saw this in a plane, it probably wouldn't be that funny, but it's a funny picture nonetheless. But now what we need to do is we need to make it look a little bit more believable. So uh, what's going on is the uh, picture that we have here, It's it's got a black uh, vignette. You see like the, the edges of the... Uh, uh, the window are black, but they're not a pure black. They're more like a, a you know, like a dark blue. So if you took your eyedropper tool and you like selected here, you would see that it's not black. It's definitely uh, got some value in it. It's got some saturation in it. And so what we need to do is we make sure the giraffe, the black parts on the giraffe are going to be the same. So let's go to a selective color and uh, let's do that on top of the giraffe. So just control alt G to clip it. And then I'm going to go to my blacks and I'm going to bring my blacks over to the left. That's going to take uh, that darkness out of them. Then I'm also going to take out some yellows, which is going to give them a nice little blue color and maybe add some science. So here's the before and after. You can see that it's just uh, it's making those blacks not quite as uh, dark. And that's going to that's going to blend our scene a little bit better. I'm going to do another levels adjustment on it and I'm just going to try to tone down the contrast. So I'm going to bring my lights down like this and also my blacks in just a little bit. And uh, that's just really toning down uh, the contrast of the giraffe and some of the uh, saturation. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a little bit of sun uh, set glare here. So I'm just going to get a brush on top of everything. And I'm just going to grab some of these warm yellow colors behind him and just paint some large little circles here just right in there maybe even some on the left side too but mainly right there change that blend mode to screen and that is your little uh, sunset in the background 
And then, of course, just make sure you, you mask it out so it's not like leaking into the, the sun uh, inside of the plane or like right in front of the giraffe. So something kind of like that, that just kind of like puts him uh, interacting with the sun just a little bit. Okay. Last thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, add a little bit of uh, reflective light on top of this window. Uh, so I'm just going to grab like a grayish color or well, maybe a little bit of saturation in it, maybe like a, a light gray with just a little bit of color in it. And uh, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to start just drawing some lines on this, um, this window. So I'm just going to like uh, click here and then hold shift down and then that's going to draw some straight lines. And so I'm going to draw uh, all kinds of little lines here. Actually, I'm going to make my flow a little bit lower. And uh, I'm just going to draw some little, um, just some little lines going here. Just this is going to be the uh, reflective part of the glass. You see, you see that I'm doing like way too much of it. So uh, don't worry about that. We're going to fix this in a second. But I just want to do like random uh, shapes and random um, uh, sizes and random hardness. Some of them are going to be hard. Some of them are going to be soft. And uh, we can even add some little bit lighter ones in here as well. And uh, so this this kind of looks kind of crazy right now. This doesn't look good at all. But what we're going to do... Okay, something like that. Yeah, that looks absolutely horrible. But I'm going to change that to screen. And then I'm going to put a layer mask on it and invert that layer mask. So control I to invert it. Then I'm going to get a flow of one with a white color, and I'm just gonna paint uh, very lightly just in random spots. So I'm just gonna paint some up here, some little glares up here, some little glares down here. Not gonna do it all over, just gonna do in certain spots. And what that's gonna do is gonna make it look like there's an actual uh, glass here that is separating the, uh, the giraffe from the inside of the airplane, and so that would be very encouraging to the passengers. Uh, but that's pretty much all I did. Just uh, control um, I to invert that mask and then paint some white back on it. And then you can lower the opacity if you think you've done it uh, a little bit too much. Uh, but guys, that's pretty much it. This is how I would create a little fun picture like this. Uh, you could also do some color grading on it. So if we wanted to do like like that or something, I think that would look pretty good. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is what it would look like. And, uh, I would, I would spend more time on it. Obviously I would try to get some, uh, some finer details, do a better selection and everything. Uh, but that's the basis of how I would create something like this. Uh, it's really fun projects. Uh, they're really funny. They really get your attention. And, uh, so I hope that you are able to take these, uh, skills in this tutorial and make your own little creative picture and uh, you can use the free stock uh, websites uh, to get some pictures, or you can go out and take your own pictures as well. So that would make it really your own artwork. But guys, that's all I've got for this tutorial. I hope that you're enjoying it, and uh, I will see you again tomorrow morning for a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Thanks, guys.